I just left my meeting on boarding a new buyer. I actually did credit repair with this client and her score went up from 534. We literally, I had her sign up for my FICO because they're like the most accurate with updating credit and stuff. And y'all, her score is now 706 and she cannot believe it. Like, I'm so freaking happy for her. She was so grateful, but y'all, it's a lot of copyright. I came out to kill me crazy to enjoy some lunch and pick some plays for tonight. I'm gonna tell you guys when I get to the car about me and Ashley's group. Um, so stay tuned. Good morning. I am on my way to Pilates. The girls were out of school for, hap um, for Martin Luther King holiday yesterday. And then we got a notification that they will be out of school again today, which I ain't mad about at all, y'all, because I love my babies being home. I gotta go to my Pilates class. It's freezing cold. I need to put my gloves on. Is somebody calling me? No, I didn't. But, um, yes, I had a very productive yesterday, and I have some stuff to do today. Ugh, I hate when I have to put makeup on for um, companies, and I don't got nothing to do, but I gotta get. Oh, I got a lot of sponsorships I gotta submit videos for today. Oh, y'all, it's freezing. Hold on, y'all, let me, no, forget it, forget it, it's okay. Well, I don't really got nothing to talk about. I was really just coming in here to say, oh no, I did have something to say, y'all. So, why the freak I step outside and there's a fucking crow that knocked, went in our trash, knocked it over, and um, now his ass, he, when I came outside, his ass flew off the trash and was on the roof calling. What his ass doing? I have to go look, and I hate to have to like believe in something. You know what? I don't even want to put myself and go down a rabbit hole and start looking up conspiracies about why the hell is some crows around you. Cause that, I don't like that type of stuff at all. I don't like it at all. But anyways, y'all, I am on my way to Pilates like I said. I don't got my wig on. Y'all, I don't want to do my Pilates with my bust down, prison braids. I, I, I brought my wig, I put it in my um, purse because I am so behind with my week videos. I've just been so busy with onboarding so many new real estate clients, I have not had time to like do any extra content. And then I have another sponsorship that actually is probably going out in this video, so y'all probably started already. And it would, they want it out as soon as possible, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta put out two vlogs in one week, so now I gotta get the footage. That's what I'm doing. But um, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the positive responses to my last video it was just on my heart y'all to speak to you guys about you know just evolving just like being better as a whole so many of you guys dm me and i couldn't respond to everybody because y'all my brain like i be having both phones in my, my my hand like going back and forth um oh this car's going so slow but um I did see a lot of DMs. Some people even text my business phone. They was like, girl, you gonna see my message. And I'm just so grateful that a lot of you guys said that the message resonated with you guys and that um, I, I just saw a lot of things that made me realize that I'm so happy I kept it in. Cause there's been a few times I've went into like a little sidebar tangent rant on my page and I edited it out. Cause I'm like, you know what? Let's just, don't even worry about it. But I, and this was, and it typically it's one because it's like long as crap and I'm like, okay, the vlog already long enough. I don't want to hear the rant or not. Don't want to hear it, but it's just going to make it even longer. But y'all have been liking the longer videos, so I don't mind posting longer videos, especially when I'm only really posting once a week. And honestly, I do want to get to a more consistent schedule. I wouldn't mind twice a week plus an extra content video, even if it's not a hair video, it could be some other form of content. But editing is taking your girl out. Editing is taking your girl out. I don't even have the time like I used to to edit. Like before when YouTube was literally solely my only career, that's what I could dedicate myself to. That's why everybody was like, how can you be so consistent? Now I get why a lot of people can't be consistent. When it comes to YouTube, when you got a million other things you gotta do. Um, and you know, I, I still love YouTube. So y'all never gonna have to say goodbye to me. Um, well, I keep saying um, but anyways, y'all, good morning, happy Tuesday. I hope y'all had a prosperous weekend and have an even better day. Oh, I forgot, I gotta tell y'all about prize picks. So, me and Ashley, that's another thing that's been taking up all my time, y'all. Prize picks. So, Ashley had brought it up to me when we were doing our real estate um, C 
CE credits and we went together and we were doing it and she had brought it up because Jeremy and her boyfriend both do it and they've been doing it but I don't be into all that type of stuff I don't care about the games who win it you know put money on games put money on players like it's just too much for me to keep up with however Ashley was like you know I want to kind of learn it and get into it outside of you know what her boyfriend got going on and she started studying on her own, learning on her own, figuring out on her own. And then, we, of course, we, we we got into a few other groups. And I was like, well, you know, it won't hurt to, like, just look. Got into it, you know. And Prospects is essentially like a gambling app. That's just kind of what it is. You're gambling on players. You're, pay, you're placing bets on players. And the minimum you can put on, like, five. And then the max is uh, however much you want. But you're putting plex, bets on players, whether it be two players up to six um and then the game comes on and you can see it is really exciting but y'all me and ashley have run it up let me put my prize picks right here first of all this is not a sponsored video at all i'm not sponsored by prize picks prize picks I don't know nothing about me but when i say y'all know i love making me some money y'all know i love making me some money and, <laughs> and when i say I made how much I woke up today I had like 700 in my account I've only been doing price picks for two weeks and I've already made $700 this is insane and I feel so happy because me and Ashley are the main ones who are picking plays we have a few so let me run that back so we have a group chat with our friends and stuff who we just sent our plays to and Ashley was doing it first because she was studying first and she was the one who was like I think I really want to do it and I was like I don't know just send it to me and I'll put five on it and let's see if it worked and then we, we started seeing some we was winning some stuff so I was like you know what let me get into this too because she, she works she's very busy she can't always be the one picking the plays then we found some other groups who do, does it so we started kind of like looking at their place and what they're doing and um yeah so now we have an actual formal prize pick discord and um I'm just so happy y'all so many people have already like messaged us because we've um sign them up if you guys are interested because it's kind of hard to explain all of it but like i said it's just essentially yeah well i feel so fucking nauseous all of a sudden oh my gosh oh my gosh that just hit me but um i don't know what that was but anyways um i'm just so happy like i have not lost any but when we first started doing it of course you like you either break even if you break even that's losing to me of course you're not technically losing your money but if you put money in and then you lose one or two and then you make the profit of one so it's kind of like you just never put in and you're not really seeing a big profit that's not what I want to do I want to be winning I want to be the girl who's choosing the plays as winning and a lot of people have been doing it because I posted on my story because Ashley was like hell people keep messaging us when we had first posted our wins with our homeboy and um people are mentioning like what's that what's that what's that so Ashley had made like a little group thing and now some people didn't sign up y'all and are getting to the money and I'm just so excited so I've been doing that y'all that's my new little side thing um if y'all are interested just DM me um it's kind of hard to check my DMs frequently so I posted my link the other day I don't know if I'm gonna be posting it every single day but if you really 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 serious and you ready to just get into it we was on a five day winning streak. When I tell you we was winning 200, 300, and some of the people in the group were winning more. Me, I'm still not a confident gambler. Like I still like, I have to work up my nerve to get okay with taking bigger risks. Cause Jeremy, he takes bigger risks when he does it so he can win even bigger. Me, I may put five to win 125. Some people who I was sending in my plays or Ashley was sending their plays, mostly Ashley, cause I didn't start choosing picks until like two days ago. But when she was sending the plays, um, they will put 20 on it. So then now they winning 600 and opposed for my, me winning 125 and we did the same plays. So yeah, we were on a winning streak for five days in a row. Yesterday was a bad day in, in the world of parlaying. So we back on it today. We've already dropped our picks. If you're watching this now, this was filmed on Tuesday. So uh, we're doing it every single day. I don't know. I think this vlog actually will come out tomorrow as a matter of fact. So if you're serious and you really, really, really want to join, don't be wasting my time because I don't have time to be trying to explain it. I'm doing the best I can, but I'm trying to at least get it out there because I know people be like, they, you may need money for a water bill or a light bill real quick and you could just get it and cash that damn money out. I'm like, what? And we're really invested. Like I was up since seven o'clock this morning doing my research. I didn't looked up all these sports. I'll be on there. I don't be fucking playing. Like I don't be playing. I'm looking up all the sports, all the statistics. And I help Jeremy help me as well explain positions and this so I can know what the likeliness of it because based off their position but based off what kind of player you are based off what team you're going against it takes a lot to choose this 
I don't just one, two, three, like this is my guess. No, I'm looking it up and do, doing fact based guessing. Um, and that's what me and Ashley have been doing. Hey, y'all. Okay, my wig is literally tucked inside my coat. At this point, I don't even care. I am very flabbergasted right now. Oh, okay, y'all. I can't even pull my purse up because I got on two coats. Excuse me. So, let me tell y'all what the freeze. Ugh. Ugh. I can't even get outside this thing on door, y'all. I pray to God. I don't know why every time I come out here to Pilates, I'm having parking freaking issues. Oh, it's cold as crap out here, y'all. Ooh. 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 Y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me get into the car. I'm just praying I didn't get no ticket. I was like, I don't think no police officer. I tried to pay for parking three times and it kept canceling me off. And I'm like, at the f this point, I had to go into my Pilates class. So. I've been doing Pilates at Solid Core, and so far, so good. I know there's one in Buckhead that a lot of girls talk about, but that was literally always booked, and I didn't want to go to the one that was always booked. Oh, y'all, I ran out of minutes. Yeah, put it right there. Okay, hold the camera. Right here. Okay. I'm I hold the camera. She told me to hold the camera. Listen, listen. Hold the camera. Joy. Oh. Hey, I want it to be in the box. Hey, Lucky. Hey, you want to be in there? Yeah. Uh, just okay. show Jory. Yeah. And what are we about to do to Jory? Jory, uh, Jory turn around, Angel. No. It's going to be okay. Jory, it's going to be okay. It's okay. It's not Gabby. It's not even squeezing the juice out. It's not Gabby. Mommy's going to squeeze the juice out. And then she's going to put it on it's her not eye. Gary, not Gabby. Like I did it. Me too. Well, we went to. Well, I went to. Do well, it hurt? Mm -mm. I told you. I told you. Mommy, it looks like you have orange dye. Mm hmm I, I look like. Let's <laughs> <laughs> your head and just lay back like that. Just relax. Just relax. Can we go get hot chocolate? <laughs> That you me. Relax. You got it. <laughs> just relax, okay? Y'all, this is just warm water with turmeric. Jory's eyes drain a lot. I'm like, messing my eyes. I know, just relax. I got you. Hold on. Let's go get hot chocolate. And oh, her eyes chocolate. like drain so much. The doctor said oh, hot that chocolate. it's just normal. Her eyes are Mommy, give me hot chocolate. Baby, you gotta get, get down with this. Mommy, first, Mom, can okay? I get hot chocolate? Yes, baby. Daddy is. Go tell your daddy. Your daddy is doing everything. Mommy has Mommy, to work cooking, my... hot chocolate. Oh, hot he, oh. You, he's gonna get yours, princess. You look just like I'm your ultrasound. You. I love you. I love your nails. Thank you, baby. I, love I you. wish I could have a sing nail like you. You wish you could have black nails? Mm hmm You want to do yellow nails? Yes. Okay, Angel. And I want to do my toenail. Okay, baby. We can do anything you want. I love you. And, and, and with... And, and with Jenny's icing my nails, mm -hmm. they gonna say, I wish I could have nails. Really? <laughs> I don't know how anybody, literally anybody, could look at a child and want to inflict any H-A-R-M to that child. Children are so Mommy, freaking yeah, precious. Well, we found a swimming pool at the hotel. Lips. You found a swimming pool, y'all. We gotta go out of town this week. The girls got a competition out of town. I thought it was postponed. We <sighs> I got a lot of work to do, y'all. I got some credit to submit and Mommy, some emails to send Mommy, out. And I have, like I said, some brand deals. So I'm about to probably just be gone for the next few hours. And baby's gonna have to probably take them to cheer because I have another gym you. appointment. Pilates went good. Yeah. But you want your likey? Let me give you a likey. Oh, oh there's your likey. And this girl will not leave our room. I took her out of her our room because she kicks, punches, hits, rolls over, slaps you. All, like, it's very vicious sleep majority. So I took her out because I was trying to get some stuff done. I was like, let me go put her in her bed. And y'all, let me show y'all the clip. Literally, I kid you not, 
two seconds later. So I put her in, came in here, got comfortable, said, ah, next thing you know, I heard a noise and I pulled my camera out because I said, I oh, know this is not her. What's going on, Dory? I just took you in there. Uh, Dory. Oh my gosh. And lo and behold, you bringing me more food? Y'all daddy, daddy want me to yeah, eat all day. Here. Thank you, Angel. You eat breakfast? Yes, remember grandma made me That's breakfast. So cool. yeah. And now Jeremy wants me to eat again. I told him my weight goes so and he ain't playing with me, y'all. Thank you, baby, for bringing it. You're such a sweet girl. I love you. You don't see the hot chocolate? You shouldn't be seeing nothing because you should have these things over. You're going to get it. You just got to wait for 10 minutes. Okay, y'all. Let me go eat. And I will see y'all later. What you bring a journey? My juice. Oh, my journey bean. Y'all are such a big girl. So I'm not gonna be able mommy? to finish this. Probably one third right of it. There. Thank you, baby. Love you. You're such a sweet girl. I love you. Love you, mommy. You're such a sweet girl. Yes, you can have a little lotion. I'm just gonna sit by Joy. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Kids are so fucking. Oh. I love it. I'm about to go have ten babies. I want to get pregnant with triplets. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Take that back. Oh, words are powerful. Maybe just one. <laughs> but a squatter being present and the windows being broken and someone occupying the property, that ain't good. Right. Did the agent know? Um, I called the agent. I was on the phone with him um, and he was trying to walk me. What happened was he was trying to walk me through the, it has like a smart lock kind of like the um the lockbox but a digital pad mm -hmm. and but the digital pad is not working so i just you know was playing with it and the whole thing popped open so the keys are easily accessible and the door looks as if it had like a uh, forced entry in it because the door frame is kind of like out of bounds and then when i checked all my because I did the exterior while I was waiting to get entry. Mm -hmm. And like all of those doors were open and the windows were cracked. Oh my God. Um, did you see the squatter? Yeah, the back door is open. So it seems as if they went out through the back when I announced myself. Oh, I'm glad you're okay and you safe. Yeah, I just wanted to touch base before I kind of went inside. I just stayed outside for the meantime. Um, but since it's an investment, I guess I can move forward with it, but, you know, it, it was a safety concern. Yeah, I'm definitely going to contact the agent right now and let him know what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to, um, move on. Not, like, really disgusting, but you can see the bacteria. This is her left eye. This is the um, eye that leaks the most. So you see all that redness. So we're gonna start doing this once a day to start keeping that bacteria at bay. Yeah. And this is really, really good. Um, I see all that red and it's supposed to like clear, like this clears up like pink eye and eye infections. Do what you wanna do, y'all. Y'all know I, if I share anything, do what you want to do. This is all natural stuff, so it's not, I mean, of course you still wanna do things in um, moderation, but this is, I do natural stuff. So anyways. The bacteria is pulled out, and let's see what her eye looks like. You see how clear? I should, did I show y'all the before? Well, I was filming her, but I don't know if y'all saw her eye really, really, really good. Ouch. But y'all see this? Literally, all the bacteria came into the pad. So that's kind of like what happens when you have um, a pink eye. Like all of that. Like she has so much gunk and nastiness on her eyes, and now this is all your bacteria. All of her bacteria. Dang, I wish I would have did it before. Oh, I wish I would have did it before, y'all. I hope I got a good footage of her eyes. I'm in the middle of doing some collaborations and filming, like I told y'all earlier. But I'm about to, baby, about to take my orders from me. And um, babies, can y'all wait and say excuse me when mommy's talking? But um, yeah, it's 4:15, and I wanted to finally try my. Smoke, like this. okra, it's not smoke, I love okra, 
and these olives. So I'm just gonna have a few right here. What's the? I got these from Whole Foods. Garlic stuffed olives. Mm. This is. I love garlic. Mom, you wanna garlic. be so, after competition? Oh no, baby, we got a competition this weekend. Mom, you wanna be after yes, competition? Um, Mom, you'll never be after competition. Do you have them? Because I'm about to eat them. Mommy, what does that taste like? We're about to find out. Joy, you have to taste it. Why? Because I want to see how it tastes like to you. Why? And then and it tastes yummy, I will taste it. Mama. Okay. Let's start with the okra. Oh, babe, not here. I hope that can open it. Oh, here, turn this on. Let me see how to. I'm going to use my phone. Yeah, it was very spicy. So, Do you like spicy stuff like that? Is that the pepper? You need water? <laughs> you need it? You like it? Uh, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. okay. It's spicy. You want to try? No. Okay. Is it pepper? I feel like two a day will be okay. That's like a little kick to it, y'all. I'll take it. Mm. Oh my god, I got it. Thank you, John. Oh, let's hold it. Okay, turn it away. Here, Dora. We got the after spice. You can try to open. Girl. Spicy. Two in one sitting is enough. I'm gonna just eat the whole jar. Dory, no. No, don't turn. Right, now we're gonna taste. Do I like it? Yes, definitely five out of five. Definitely five out of five. Right, Two or three max. I think, Rory, turn that off. Baby, cause you ain't about to get me flat for cover up. Okay. Huh? I'm gonna have to stand it up. Let's try pie and eat. You see how, what's going on right there? I can put on this table, but the sun's going the other way. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. All that milk. You cough from drinking all that what? Milk. When you were drinking milk? That's a milk change. Oh. Ugh. Mommy, okay. I love you. <laughs> oh, shoot. Y'all making a mess. Hold on. Hold on. Don't touch. Don't touch. Mommy, mommy. Right, your touch. Oh, my gosh. It smells. Mommy, that smells like a bagel. A bread. It smells like a bagel or a bread. Guys. Guys, this is the But that one is spice. But I think I'm in this one. Do you have to test this one? Well, because I don't want to taste nothing yet. I don't want to take it. It tastes. It looks like it's too healthy. Okay, y'all. Mommy, it is healthy. I can't see my face. I'm going to get on my knees. I'm going to go daddy. Girl, daddy just left. Y'all about to get dressed for cheers so he can take out a practice. Okay, okay. What? Okay, it's stuffed with garlic. That's. Uh. Are you purpose. kidding me? I'm not kidding you. What? What is what does it taste like? Jenny, you have to taste that. No. What does oh. it taste like? What did the garlic taste like? Give me a piece. Give mm -hmm. me a taste. Just take a bite. Okay. It's like a whole garlic inside. Oh, huh? I don't like whole garlic. Okay. I like it. Oh. Okay. We're gonna play around with it. It's okay, y'all have to have it. What is this, mommy? It's smoked okra, baby. And it's so spicy. Let me put this in the fridge. Bye. Okay. Mommy, I was like, so, hey guys. Yes, it's refrigerated after the fridge. We already did that. So, sit down, Don't say it like that, baby. You ain't gonna like it like that, baby. It's spicy. I do not let you do it like that. Y'all gotta go get dressed for cheer. Dark this way, y'all. Good morning. Oh, y'all, almost 7%. Oh, 
Good morning. They can't even see you. We are on our way to the office. I have an yeah. in-person meeting. Mom, you got an office in the house. I do have an office in the house. Come on, baby, focus on your gloves. Okay. Did you put them on? With one finger, two finger, three finger, four finger, five finger. Mom. Baby, this right, it's right, it's right. It's right. Come on. Put like you there. She looking so cute. I'm gonna show you her outfit in a second here. Here, baby, quick, quick, spread out. Here. Put one finger apart. Okay. She doing it. Yes. Look at my mama's. So she got on like two jackets because it's really, really cold in her sweater. Um, her purse. Um, the two. And that's why you're gonna have to do it because you have to be the big girl, Jory. Remember, mommy told too. you this is gonna be good at your cognitive development. It's putting each finger where they belong. We gotta walk out. So do it in the car. You did it. Good job. Told you. Told you. Okay. Now I got on me my two jackets. Let me show y'all what I look like. And I put on my hat. There we go. My hat. I got eight minutes left on this. Thing. Baby, I just gave you some to drink. We'll drink more at the office. We'll drink more at the office. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, I'm doing good with my time management. Oh, Lord, y'all. I told y'all one of my, um. you can see my breath. Baby, I gave you juice already. Okay, we'll get some on the way there. Jesus Christ. It's your world, Jory, and I'm just living in it because Angel. Put batteries in it. Girl, I did put batteries, but why was you bad in this meeting? You, you was bad in the meeting, George. Or now, can I get my business phone back, Angel? Come on, get your coat on. We gotta leave. But my mini phone is broke. What mini phone? Uh, a mini the one you got for Christmas? Yeah. That's not good, George. Or y'all. So we had a really pr productive. Oh, let me turn y'all around. We had a really productive meeting. And I look like I'm about to go rob a bank. All I need is a mask and to put my head down like that. <laughs> but um, very productive meeting. Everybody. Everybody live. Everybody left. Yes, cause they said Jory was so bad. We got to get out of here. What? Jory was so bad. Jory Dimple was so bad. What? Why they say Jory Dimple was so bad? Cause that's what you was doing, being so bad. Y'all, she was she was watching my phone, literally cracking up, laughing at her shows in the middle of the meeting. I was recording Chanel at one point on my phone. She's just in the background talking, just doing all of that, y'all. But luckily, almost everybody don't care about none of that, and we can stay focused. You want this? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna put this in the trash. Oh no, he's cute. I want to just throw away napkins. Then uh, he brought us food. We met up with a new private lender who will be working exclusive. Well, not, not exclusive. He can definitely work with other people, but we betted him. Out. Well, Chanel betted him out. Um, but so many different opportunities. But we're gonna film some content around it. So stay tuned. My biceps and my triceps hurt, y'all. Y'all, Chanel says she wants this sweater. Mommy gang, shout out to my girl and. So you know what? This is why y'all gotta. This is why y'all gotta stop being shy and send your product out to influencers like myself, especially. I'm not like most influencers. I'm gonna put my people on. I remember when she first started sending me mommy gang stuff, like Joy. Uh -uh. See, this the badness I was talking about. Um, I remember when she first like she sent me that mommy gang necklace, some earrings, and I think. We did. She did a collaboration with me for my company, and then she gifted me, like, like she was willing to invest in her business, y'all, and she gifted me some, um, some merch from her, her site. I loved it. Like I literally fell in love with it, and then I ended up for Black Friday. She was definitely on my Black Friday support list, so I went and spent some money for her with her for. Shit, y'all, y'all, we falling over. We can't be breaking. They expensive new camera, y'all. But anyway, so she's, I spent some money. She was on my support list for Black Friday. I supported her. This is one of the things I got. But now, 
so many people have been asking me like oh like when i'm wearing my mommy gang stuff, oh my gosh so i've definitely given her so much business and now chanel says she's about to go order a whole bunch of stuff because she's working out in a gym and she loves it and it's just so freaking cute so freaking cute so this is y'all sign y'all got a business let me tell y'all to send it to me because I will support you if I really love it. Your purse is right here. Your purse is right here, baby. I will support you. Put it in my neck. Put it on your neck. Come here, Jorah. You gotta do everything. Come on, put your gloves on. It's cold outside. Yes, baby, your gloves. Mom, I gotta spread it out like this. Yes, yeah, spread it out like that. Put it on like this. Good job, Jory Denver. Good job, Jory. Hey. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to see y'all later. Well, Mama, way later. I got to go and choose some more prize picks. Oh, y'all. I don't know if it's a soda I ate. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, when my face start breaking out. Like, I just, that's why I need to stop speaking about stuff. Because I know the last few weeks I've been drinking a lot of Sprite. But I haven't really been having any issues with, like, drinking soda. Like, before when I used to have 60, I think, oh, no, I could not drink no sodas. It will aggravate the heck out of it. But now that I don't have... Agony issues, I can do and eat, drink, whatever, Mommy, without breaking said, out. <sighs> Y'all, but my suspicions Mommy. about what's going Mommy. on, Where we'll figure that? it out. Hold Mommy. on. Huh? Usually, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. Been keeping it in the house, Netflix and chilling. I GDM and gay. Didn't wanna share my love till I found someone I'm sure of, young and untamed. Hey y'all, I'm gonna make this real quick because I'm about to go get my nails done. I have some um, wigs that I need to wash, give away and uh, just some stuff I need to prepare for because I told you we're gonna go out of town tomorrow for the girls competition, which probably will be a part of this vlog. But um, y'all, Solid Core just kicked my ass. I typically come to a class after 8.30 because that's when the girls have, I have to have the girls dropped off by eight, so I don't wanna like rush and all this other stuff and I'm coming downtown, wherever I'm going. Cause they have several locations so you can go to whichever one um, when you book your classes. But y'all, so the class that I typically go to, or the time frame I typically go to was um, full. So, and then at first I thought, cause I purchased eight classes a month. Cause I was like, okay, I'm gonna start off slow. We'll do two classes a week. And maybe after three months, I'll push it up to three classes a week. Let's just see how it goes first. And I thought that maybe the classes could roll over if you didn't finish them. And something just told me to go on Google and figure it out. And Google said, no girl, you got to finish all these classes. You do not get no refund if you do not take all of them. So I was like, okay, let me book a class for tomorrow. You don't have nothing to do early in the morning. But the class I usually take was full. So I took the class before and I looked at it and I was like, this looks kind of advanced, but how advanced could it be? You know, this is solid core. You know, they have that machine. I just showed you guys like the ambiance of it in case you guys have never seen how Pilates works. And I'm like, this can't be that extreme. Y'all, when I say I was in there like a fish out of water, I was like, what the freak? I pushed myself because I was like, there's no way I'm going out like this. Like them people's abs, the, the strength of it and I gave myself grace because the first thing I kept thinking of when I because typically I'm really good with athletic stuff because of me being an athlete my entire life but since having kids my pelvic floor is super weak and I know I know I should have continued to do like a lot of pelvic exercises after giving birth and just continue and actually I have a reminder in my phone since I gave birth to Jory I have a reminder that goes off in my phone every single day every single day and ask me how many times I've done it since Jory has been born and I feel so ashamed because the answer is zero. Like I did it the first time when I saw it on Instagram and it's like frog stretches and it's real simple, like not like a full workout. It's like they said that frog stretches and one other thing like really helps with your pelvic, um, like strengthening your pelvic floor. And I was like, oh, so I did it the first time. It's so simple y'all, something that will take me literally 30 seconds to two minutes to do every single day. They say just do this every day and it will just strengthen. 
so simple and I've literally done it zero times since I and I see the alert go off every day and I'm like oh there it is <laughs> and I just don't do it so that's the bullshit I was talking about in my previous vlog when it says like focusing on what's the, what what you're supposed to be focusing on because that doesn't make any freaking sense that I've done it literally zero times and Jory is three and she'll be four in July so that's sad and embarrassing but this is my truth and I'm sticking to it so um anyways the class nearly kicked my ass come up and see my oh, little oh. right here and not my mama telling y'all know y'all parents look at Jory she look oh Jory hey mama hey mama hey mama hey mama I love you I love you. <laughs> still licking and liking. I'm gonna go do these Got Limps orders. And then, yes, Got Limps is still up and running, y'all. Yes, y'all still support me. Yes, I love it here. Yes, y'all are the best. Literally, y'all are the best. I love this hat. When I tell y'all, I have never really been a hat girl, to be honest. I really honestly started wearing this hat specifically because when I wear my glueless units, I do not be putting them on at night. I don't sleep in them. I just put my little scarf on, as y'all can see. And if I go up to the school and I have my scarf on, Jaya is not happy. She calls me out. She lets me know why you have your scarf on. This is not it. You need to put your wig on. So she does um, say that my hat is okay. When I tell y'all the quality of this hat, I got this from Timu, y'all. I don't even know how much I paid for it. It was really, really inexpensive. I have not had any complaints from anything that I've gotten from Team Move thus far. I hate my fucking lashes. As soon as we leave here, I'm about to go get buy some more. If y'all own a lash company, please send me some lashes, y'all. With <laughs> please send it to my PO box 541 10th Street. It's in my um description. That's my giant bear. I gotta go home and do that here. They got um capping out to get photos, y'all. But I came here to make a PSA. Do not come to Applebee's with this capping out for your graduation. Um, this is a scam. Hold on, y'all. Let me make me a thumbnail right here. Know what? You want to say? George, Jay, you want to be in there? Put your thumb down. Put your, go like this. Do what mama do. Hold on, stand like this. We ain't even second. We ain't even on last second. We ain't even on last second. You see that, baby? You saw how we put that thumb down? Y'all, okay, look, first of all, before I tell y'all this bad news, no, I'm gonna start with the bad news, then I'll come back with the good news. The good news about yesterday, because I didn't vlog. <sighs> this is a scam. So, today's my mom's husband's birthday, and he wanted, we were gonna go to another restaurant, but he changed it the last second because he heard about Applebee's having this special for $14.99. I don't really eat with Applebee's. I haven't eaten at Applebee's in years, but I took the girls to Applebee's a couple of months ago, if y'all remember, because I was like, okay, let's just go somewhere real quick. We're just going somewhere real quick. And we had the worst service. This exact length location. The worst service. Things were taking forever. You gotta ask if many times for stuff. Food is not the best. Like I once I got introduced to the quality food <laughs> restaurants and all that. And I'm not even because I come from this. Like I come from I don't come from eating five star restaurants and stuff like that. So I don't wanna act like my shit don't say like I'm too good to go to these type of restaurants. But if I can afford better, then why not take myself and my kids to better? And this is just not good. So let me tell y'all what the freak they did while we up here at this restaurant. We up here, and they're supposed to have $14.99 unlimited food. And you can get riblets, boneless wings, or shrimp. And all of them come with fries. I ordered spinach dip. The spinach dip comes out. Ate the spinach dip. It was okay. Um, ate, drink my lemonade. It tastes like, you know when it tastes like a fountain? Like, I hate that. Like, I hate, hate, hate when it's not fresh. Like, it just tastes, ugh. So, didn't like that. Then we ran out of chips for the spinach dip because all of us eating off of this little bitty bowl and they only had gave us some little bit of chips out of all the people at the table. Asked them for some chips, literally 20 minutes go by. 
he's like, oh, you need to come back to say, you need something, you need something? Yes, I need the chips. Now the spinach dip is cold. You know y'all gotta eat spinach dip quick. Let it go, still being pleasant. Then our first unlimited comes out. I got shrimp, my mom got shrimp, and everybody else got what I got. My, sh my food comes without no cocktail sauce. I would've thought that would've just automatically came with a cocktail sauce, but I'm like, eh, maybe people are allergic, so maybe you gotta ask for that. So I asked for I was like, hey, can I get cocktail sauce? Tell me why I still don't got no mother loving cocktail sauce. The only reason why my shrimp is gone is because Jory, y'all know my baby's got big appetites. Jory ate damn near half my mama's shrimp, and then she came over here and ate the rest of my shrimp. I ate one shrimp, and I barely even finished it because I can't even eat it like this. And it's not even like the best quality, so I couldn't like thug it out. If it would have been like a really good quality shrimp, maybe I could have just ate it as is. Or with the ketchup. No, y'all. Now, still didn't get a cocktail sauce, and we still haven't got our unlimited. What kind of unlimited is this? Ain't nothing that's rolling around. I'm used to back in the day when I was at the daiquiri factory and you could have like unlimited crab legs. Like, as soon as you raise your hand, them crab legs coming right back out. Like, that's what I expect when I hear unlimited. Bad experience. Everybody here complaining. Every single table that was by me, they're all clean now. Nobody's behind me. Every single table complain, complain, complain. And I feel bad, so I'm still stuck between a rock and a hard place. And the only reason I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, I'm still gonna tip for yeah, we, he never got his food, and we still waiting for our unlimited. CJ, you got the unlimited? <laughs> oh, there it go, y'all. I never got my um wings. I never got my unlimited wings. You want some? What kind of wings? You want? It was the hot wings with the um the blue cheese and the fries. <laughs> No, I told him this 40 minutes ago. I'm so confused. Like, I'm so confused. <laughs> but anyways, off to better news. So, I didn't really vlog yesterday at the girls' competition. When I say those girls shut it down. I'm going to insert a clip right now. And I They came in first place. They got superior first place. I don't know what their score is. I want to know what the score is because I'm almost positive it should have been like damn near perfect. Everybody was like, whoa, those girls, like first of all, they're, it's a team of four-year-old, five-year-olds, and maybe like two or three, no more than three for sure, six-year-olds. And the way they shut it, especially they were the last tinies to go, so all eight tiny teams went first, and then we went, so to see kind of like everybody, and then our girls came out there, and the way they killed it, like I was so proud of my girls, like I'm so, like I was tearing up, literally. They love their team, they love their friends. And then I didn't really vlog the rest of it because um, y'all, I was just in mommy mode. I've been vlogging the rest of the competition. And yesterday, I was actually sitting with them and their cheer friends and some of the other moms talking about stuff. And um, so I didn't really wanna vlog them with their friends. I show y'all clips here and there. But anyway, they got their pictures tomorrow. We about to head up out of here. I gotta go film two things for a company. Finally take this wig off. I have not had time to switch the wig off. The companies are like, what's going on? That's another thing. Like, I'm not even been able to do some of my wig sponsorships because I'm like, I'm be tired at the end of the day. But anyways, I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching this vlog. I'm still trying to get this intro together. Me and Babe have not been able to go out and get this drone footage. So hopefully, very, very soon we can do that. But I love y'all. I'll see y'all later. Say bye. Bye. And the girls are going to have a new video this week. So stay tuned. Tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. Love you. Love you.